We all need to remember that, you know, the food on our plates, you know, the shirts on our backs, that everything in Brixton, that all comes from that cod end. Cod end on a, on a fishing trawler is the part of the net which catches all the fish. If you've got a full cod end, it means you're going to have a good payday. And the expression, it all comes out of the cod end, comes from that. If you've got a full cod end, a full net, you're going to be in for a good payday and a good trip. When the fishermen pick up their checks, they'll be spending their money in the, in the shops and the facilities in Brixham. And so will everybody else who's connected to the fishing industry. The fishing industry does well, everybody else does well. You don't drive through Brixham to get anywhere, you drive to Brixham, um, and it is a destination location. It's an honest, hard-working town in which people go out and do a very, very dangerous job at sea to help put fish on supper tables across the country, and I think it's a special and unique place that needs to be protected. Brixham Rugby Club's nickname uh, is The Fisherman. The club started in 1875 from fishermen playing together. They would go out Monday to Friday and they'd come in uh, on the Saturday and the Sunday. Sunday, they would of course be at church, but on a Saturday, they'd start playing rugby. It's really important for us at Brixham Trawler Agents to recognise what other groups do within Brixham and the community spirit within Brixham. We like to think we are a big player in the community, having employed so many people from, from the youth of Brixham. And Rugby Club is the heart of the community, and we like to think the Brixham Trawler Agents is as well. So the connection was an obvious one for us. All the trawlers and all the boats and all the skippers put some money in, um, and BTA match what they put in. Brixham Trawler Agents have been the main sponsor of Brixham Rugby Club for the last three seasons. The, the stand and the, the bar, we do a lot more than that. We sponsor the youth. The youth have run a fantastic rugby camp each and every year now for about 35 years. We sponsor the Fisherman's Cup, which is an under-16 cup. We sponsor quite a bit that goes on at the rugby club, but we feel it's very important because most of it is based around the youth and youth rugby. We at the club like to see ourselves as a bit of a heart within the community from a location and a physical element point of view. All that we do um, is to be part of the community. The fish market and the fishermen are key to um, the rugby club in its financial support but also community support. And if it wasn't for the fishermen, then Brixham Rugby Club wouldn't be here. So the fishing industry has always been a, a key element and a key important thing of Brixham Rugby Club. We're heavily involved with running fish market tours. Um, those fish market tours are run in conjunction with Rockfish and all the entrance fees for the tours go towards the fisherman's mission. We are a UK charity and we're solely the only charity that supports fishermen and their families. We work with active and retired fishermen and their dependents. It is a fantastic charity which helps fishermen who have come on hard times, maybe have been ill, or their families. If the fisherman has passed away, the Fisherman's Mission helps their families. So it's really important for us to support that charity. It's very much a part of Brixham. Why do we do it for free? Because why wouldn't we? We have something to showcase. It's something we're proud of, and it's something that we love to show everybody, and we're happy to show everybody behind the scenes and make all the donations towards the Fisherman's Mission. Adam, who does the majority of the tours now with Neil, um, Adam is obviously nine till five. Um, he's, he's, the, he's the figures man, Adam is. Um, he comes in early out of his own time, and at sort of 5.30 in the morning, he does the tours off his own back, basically. A large percentage of the cost of the tickets that people purchase to come on the tours is donated to us, the charity at the end. Last year, in 2022, we received a cheque for £10,000, which is absolutely incredible. And this year, we gratefully received £9,000, which is just amazing. So thank you to everyone who has supported the event. 
you know, it's the employees in the company that are proud as well, that, that want to do that. So all the time people are prepared to give up their time, I think it's a good thing for us to continue doing. Brixham Trawler Agents supports many, many different um, community sports clubs, organisations within Brixham. We've talked about the rugby club, other sports clubs would include Brixham Town Football Club, Brixham AFC, Brixham Gig Club, Brixham Ballers Netball Club and many other sports clubs, but also the wider community. We, we support Rowcroft Hospice last year. We did a, a local monopoly board for Rowcroft Hospice. Uh, Showstone Pool, another massive part of the community, Showstone Pool. We are supporting them this year. Obviously, Torbay RNLI, we've supported them as gold sponsors for their Kilimanjaro Challenge. We support at Christmas the Food Bank, Brixham Food Bank. We support Brixham Yes, which is an organisation which provides Christmas dinners to those who need them in Brixham or on their own at Christmas. There's, there's lots more on top of that. Brixham Fish Market and Brixham Trawler Agents have expanded over the last few years. Um, we are desperate for space on the market. If we want to do more and expand more, we need more space to do that. The council have applied to the government um, on two, two occasions, two applications for levelling up funding. Unfortunately, both have failed. We've been lucky enough this week to have the uh, great news that we've received um, levelling up funding. It's in the region of uh, £20 million to upgrade the current fish market. There's no, there's no room to do anything. Morning, Tris. Hi, Phil. There's no, there's no room to do anything here. Boxes, boxes, boxes. Of course, fishermen have to have boxes. On the market, we probably do three to 4,000 boxes a day, sometimes on busy markets, five to 6,000 boxes a day. Um, but also, we need to remember the fishermen have got their own boxes. So whatever we got, there's that again. So, if, you know, you, any sort of one time here, sort of around the quayside, you can have 20 to 30,000 fish boxes. If we look there, we can see how much room there isn't there. I mean, look at all these boxes. I mean, that's not an ideal workplace for us. We can't even get forklifts down here. So with the extra money, you know, for us, we will be extending out this way, hopefully. We're going to hopefully draw a line up there, um, sort of a line across to, to the other sort of containers you can see in the distance there, which is the ice plant. And then we'd sort of infill all this and then we'd have all this extra space, which gives obviously boats extra space to tie as well. Gives us all this extra space for market space to put the fish in. So we'd have the fish coming in one side and then going out the other side, which alleviates all the problems that we currently have on site in making it a safe working place for everybody. It's been a great journey over five years trying to get this funding. And you know, now we're there. But I probably couldn't have done it without the people like, you know, Anthony Magnell, who's our local MP, Rob Parsons, our local harbour master of Torbay. You know, they, they have been championing Brixham and the uh, fishing port of Brixham. 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 Brixham is one of the most vibrant parts of Torbay. It's also a working port. It is also the most valuable port in England and Wales. So it's absolutely essential that we see and seize the opportunities to try and improve this harbour and try and make sure that the fishing community is here, not just for the next 10, 20 years, but the next 120 years. It is said by, by government and local business organisations that for every one fisherman, there are eight jobs in the industry. So whether that be electricians, mechanics, engineers, one fisherman, eight jobs. So it, that's how big it is for Torbay. It's really important that we do keep our fishing heritage and our fishing roots, and we are growing quickly. Brixham is the biggest fishing port in, in England, and we want to continue to be the biggest and we want to continue to grow so it's really important that we do expand have more space to be able to, to to make all that happen for us and for us to be able to work safely within that space i think it will allow the 
the fish market to land more fish here and sell more fish and that will have a benefit to the local economy but it will also encourage more boats to be based in Brixham, it will encourage more marine uh, related businesses, more marine engineers and you know our, our conservative estimates at the moment say that over a hundred jobs would be created by this bid but above all it also maintains and keeps Brixham as a fishing town. We're not just a tourist destination and so making sure Sure that you've got a long-term sustainable industry which you do within the fishing community in Brixham is absolutely essential to making sure you keep that ethos, that fabric that makes this town such an extraordinary place to live and work. We're going to try and see what we can do around the north side of the pier here but also I'd like to have a vision so that I can look across there and I can think I have a vision for this to be there for Brixham. It's, a, it's going to be a massive fishing port. It's going to be the biggest and the best fishing port in England. But I want it to be the biggest in the UK, the best in the UK.